Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. Now before you start flaming about where's Infamous, well... Have you seen all the capture testing thingies I've uploaded today? Yeah, that's what I spent the majority of my day doing. And once again I'm narrating this video after midnight, so uh... Yeah, this was much shorter than Infamous 2, so... Infamous 2 will be there tomorrow instead of Pokemon Ruby. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sticking to the schedule, but whatever. So, um... Yeah, the capture st <coughs> settings testing didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. And I guess I'm gonna have to upgrade. I think I'm about buying one of those hop hog things. Although I don't have the money for one of those right about now. I mean, I think they're about 200 bucks. And I'm kind of short on money, and I still have to pay 1400 bucks for my trip to America in May. So... Bit short on money. Which the frickin' guys I have the partnership with would just pay up already. Anyway, in the last part we beat the Lava Ridge Gym, and now we can go into the desert. Where we can fight this broad. Who the hell do want to go on, on a picnic in the frickin' desert? Anyway, Sanchru, this could be a little annoying because Sanchru's ability is Sand Veil. Which means that in a sandstorm, its evasion gets boosted. Guess what? There's a never-ending sandstorm going on in the desert. Also, it just used Sand Attack on me and somehow Swallow is completely unfazed by it and goes against the odds and knocks out Sanchru. Nice. He doesn't even know Aerial Ace yet. Which is a flying move that never misses. Ooh. These rocks look suspicious. There's something about them. Maybe we'll get into that later. Anyway, I am also going to catch my new party member in this episode. Right here. In this mother frickin' desert. But it's not gonna be a frickin' sanctuary. Ooh, TM37. If I that is what I remember. It's not going to be any use to me. Because I'm pretty sure TM37 is Sandstorm. Which is really not something you'd want to spend your time on in-game. And not even competitively either, because there's Pokemon that have abilities that automatically launch never-ending Sandstorms. Whereas the move can only, like, set up a Sandstorm for 5 turns. 8 in Generation 4 if you have, like, this item equipped. Ooh, what do we have here? Fossils. Of course, you can only pick one. Uh, the root or the claw fossil. Let's see, I'm probably not going to use the fossil Pokemon anyway. Because neither one is particularly useful in my opinion. But we'll go with the root fossil because I like it more. But what I don't understand, like, you can take one and the other one will disappear. Why don't you just bring out one of your Pokemon and grab the fossils at the same time. That way you can have both. Anyway, here's a trap inch. And just FYI, I'm not going to catch a trap inch either. Because trap inch is one of the hardest Pokemon to level up. You wanna know why? And trap inch isn't bad or something, it's got great attack stat for an unevolved Pokemon. In fact, trap inch has a base attack stat of 100. If you evolve it into Vibrava, it drops to like 70 or something. And then when Vibrava evolves again into Flygon, it gets back to 100. And here is the Pokemon I've been looking for. I've said numerous times before that I wasn't gonna catch a Shroomish or a Seaot or anything. No, my grass type was gonna be something else. It's gonna be a Cacnea. Because I like Cacnea, so was pretty prominent in the cartoon and it was awesome in there and I just like its facial expression, it's like kinda Jason Voorhees-esque with the holes for mouth kinda reminds me of a football mask or like a goalie mask or whatever anyway, throw the great ball because I don't want to fail and I have a Cacnea and it's really heavy for a, such a small Pokemon it's only a foot tall, and yet it weighs 113 pounds. 
And I really wonder what's up with that. Like, where does all that weight come from? I mean, is it, like, really heavy on the inside? Anyway, moveset is god-awful. Kind of. But, hey, at least Kakia has Leech Seed, which is pretty decent. Still have a rare candy, and here you go. Because I do need to train it a little to catch up with the rest of the team, but that's what the XP share comes in handy for. And I can also teach it maybe some TMs. Uh, nothing else can learn Bullet Seed anyway, so let's just put it on Cacnea. Because it's pretty much always going to be better than Absorb. Because Bullet Seed causes 10 damage per hit, and if it hits, it causes at least 2 hits. So it's always as strong as Absorb, with additional chances of getting even stronger. And Cacnea cannot learn Dig. Probably can't learn Shockwave either. Don't think cactuses can generate electricity all of a sudden. But hey, it's Pokemon. Weirder things happen. Uh, strangely enough, Hariyama can learn how to dig. Yeah, a big, fat, seven-foot-tall sumo wrestler can learn how to burrow underground in a few seconds. That's kind of weird. Anyway... I think all these broads in here have, like, sand shrews and stuff, so... Let's just put Cacnea up front and see how it goes. And I can kind of make use of the Sandstorm, because Cacnea... ...has Sand Veil as ability as well. So, evasion hacks, hopefully. Alright, Sand Shrew. Bring it. Also, Sand Veil gives Cacnea an immunity to Sandstorm damage. Sandstorm causes damage to every Pokémon that's not a Rock, Ground, or Steel type. Or has the ability Sand Veil in Generation 3, or Sand Force and Sand Rush in Generation 5. And Cacnea is a grass type with Sand Veil, so it does not take Sandstorm damage. Which is kinda nice. I can't hit it while it's digging, so I'm just gonna go and use Growth, and Sand Veil Hacks kicks in already. At least I can use Growth to raise my special attack and cause more damage. Also, Leech Seed for some passive damage when he's digging. Here, eat my bullet seed! That move sounds kind of wrong when you say it like that. Oh well. It takes him out in two hits, that's quite impressive actually, because considering Cacnea doesn't have any training under its belt. And a bell toy. As long as it's not gonna blow up on me, I'm pretty sure Cacnea can take it. Alright, Rock Tomb. Well, Cacnea's defenses are kind of awful, so. Hmm, actually takes that quite well. A Baltoy's offenses aren't that great, so kind of levels out. But that is kind of depressing. Come on, more hits. Five hits should do him in. Crap, it's only three. I never get lucky with Bullet Seed. Come on. Okay, no blowing up. Or no Psy Beams or anything like that. Because that would hurt a hell of a lot more than a Rock Tomb, that's for sure. But down goes the... Oh, oh great, Crit critical hit. Just when I was gonna die anyways. Game, why are you messing with me like that? Picnicker Heidi. Sounds Austrian. Do we have any Austrian viewers? Don't think I do. Then again, I don't know the location of all of my, like, 3,500 viewers. Or subs. Not all of the subs are viewers. There are, like, 500 of the subs are viewers. Wonder why those other 3,000 are still sub to me, then, if they don't watch my freaking stuff. I mean, YouTube was purging inactive accounts recently. And I lost, like, a hundred and something subs. Which I guess were, like, inactive accounts. But that still leaves, like, 3,000 more people who apparently are active and subscribe to me, but just not watching my stuff. And that's kind of weird. But whatever. Another Baltoy here. Uh, crap, during my ranting, I missed the... Was, is this a wild one, or does a trainer own this one? It doesn't say wild Baltoy. Pretty sure it says wild Baltoy when it's like a wild Pokemon. Or maybe not, and I'm just confused. I tend to be confused sometimes. Alright. Why do you keep just freaking rapid spinning? That move is useless as an offensive move. It's pretty useful for getting rid of spikes and stuff, but if you're using it purely to attack, you're a dumbass. Come on, bullet seed already. 
Ah, oh, great mud slap. Gonna mess up my accuracy. Come on, three hits. That should do it. Yes! Nice, finally things start working in my favor. Alright, can I get to level 21? Yes, I can. Alright. Pin Missile. Well, I guess I don't have any other offensive moves, so... Sand Attack... Probably not gonna use you anyway. At least Pin Missile can kinda come in handy against things that maybe resist grass. Okay, this was a trainer. Maybe my foe slash wild theory was correct after all. Anyway, I have a few growths under my belt. Poison Sting misses, thank goodness. It's a weak move, but still it's super effective, and Cacnea doesn't have the best defenses, so that probably wouldn't have turned out bad. But yeah, two hits wipes out Sandshrew. Cacnea's really getting stronger already. I mean, for an unevolved Pokémon, Cacnea's offensive stats are pretty good. I'm pretty sure its base attack and special attack are like higher than Marsh Tops. And pretty close to Swellows. And definitely higher than Dust Oxes. Only Hariyama is much stronger than Cacnea stat wise. Come on. Ah, of course I don't get the extra hit. Figures. But at least he's not using self destruct. Yet. What is it with these battle toys and not using Silver Strike? The ones I ran into on the Jagged Pass they didn't use anything else than Self Destruct. And yet these are like, oh hell no, I'm smarter than that. I'm not gonna blow myself up. Like some goddamn Iraqi terrorist. Alright. Almost to level 22. Still a while off from evolving. Cagnia evolves pretty late. Like, somewhere in the 30s, I think. Uh, let's see, who haven't... Oh, I haven't battled you yet. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a real, really a matter that can be solved by fighting. Like, who... Does... Who do these glasses suit better? You or me? Oh, I know. Let's have our pets fight about it. Uh, Pokemon logic. Ah, crap. Sandville works against me. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Yeah, we might have a bit of a situation on our hands here. No biggie, though. Come on, five hits. Come on, baby. I like to gamble. I mean, seriously, since I've turned 18, I've been, like, buying lottery tickets every month. I pretty much never made a profit off of them. But, hey, if you don't try, you don't win. You know, that's like 15 bucks a month to buy a lottery ticket. I can spare that easily. Though maybe if I had saved those 15 bucks every month, I would have been able to buy one of those hop hog things by now. Nah. Eh. Come on, Cacnea. Yes, I don't get poisoned. And hopefully two hits of Bullet Seed should do the trick. Hopefully I'll get like a third hit. Nah, two should do it. And I might get to level 20. Oh, nice critical hit. Wasn't sure that mattered or not, but it was nice that it was there when I could use it for once. Level 22. No new move yet, but I just learned Pin Missile last level. What am I talking about? No Pokemon learns move like one level after another. It's usually like a three level or four level gap or something. Uh, there's not really a Pokemon Center close by, so... Still have some Soda Pops. Yeah, we're feeding Soda to a Cactus now. Why does it even need to drink? I thought cactuses were like meant to go without fluid for a long time. And that they're pretty much filled up with water on the inside. Cacnea should totally learn water moves. That would be awesome. Like, oh, you have a Cacnea, I'm gonna send in my Charizard. Oh, bam, Hydro Pump to the face, bitch. Didn't see that coming now, did ya? Anyway, here's a Ruined Maniac. With a Sand Slash. Is that a possible Sand Slash? The Sand Shrew evolved before level 24? I've never really used a Sand Shrew in any Pokemon game I've ever played, so I really don't know at what level it evolves. I think somewhere around 24, maybe earlier, maybe later, but I don't know for sure. Can anyone check that for me? Because I'm too lazy to do that myself, you know that by now. Anyway, got a Leech Sheet off. Oh crap. Live, live, live. 
Oh, not that crap sand fail. Or sand attack, which you also used already. And Leech Seed is not going to be able to compensate for that slash damage. Just too much. So, Dust Ox, send you in there to die. Might... Ah, dig. Wait a second. Let's see, do I keep Dust Ox in here to take the dig, or do I switch to Swallow, who's immune to it? Hmm, oh, Leech Seed still works, even though Cacnea's no longer there. Yeah, let's just go to Swallow. Now, why do I still have that Why Not egg with me? I'm not gonna use it, why don't I just cram it in the box where it belongs? Alright. I'm not sure how Swallow is gonna deal with this thing, but I'll figure it out. Maybe just a wing attack, hope I get lucky. Leech Seed's still whittling it down, though. And Swallow has quite a bit of battle experience under its belt. Should be able to... Or maybe not. Underestimate in that Sand Slash. Come on, Leech Seed is not gonna kill it this turn. Either... Maybe next turn. If Swallow once again misses. Yeah, it's definitely gonna go down to the Leech Seed. If Swallow doesn't get to it first, which it does. Thank goodness. And... Kakinga still gets a lot of experience, thanks to the XP share. Yeah, you have sort well, you have kind of sort for strong Pokémon. I mean, your Sand Slash is much better than all these Sand Shrews that these scrubs here are carrying around. And I'm pretty sure that's all of the trainers in the desert over here. So... Yeah, in the next part of Pokémon Ruby, we'll be making our way back to Petalburg City. And I just... I don't have a Pokemon that has Rock Smash at Ditch Zigzagoon. God damn it! <laughs>